Welcome to the Yum Yum Yogi. Today we will be making light, soft, and chewy 100% whole wheat pita bread. And while cooking, let's remember I'm able to face all types of challenges because I know how to keep my mind clear and calm. There are three important steps to making this 100% whole wheat and light and fluffy. You make a tang zong. And to make a tang zong, you add two tablespoons of flour in half a cup of water in a saucepan and bring it together, like you're saying, on medium high heat. Then transfer this tang zong to a small bowl and let it cool. And now, let's add in a bigger bowl some yeast and some sugar to activate the yeast and about a cup and two to three tablespoons of water and whisk till it all blends together and let it stand for about five minutes before adding the whole wheat flour you can either use whole wheat flour I'm using chapati flour which is also another kind of whole wheat flour but you can use whole wheat flour if you don't have chapati flour and now add some salt and this is the second important step you add two teaspoons of wheat gluten and I'm mixing by hand because we do not need to knead this dough for too long and now add after the first set comes together now add the tang zong and just knead for about two minutes and the dough should be wet if it is not wet add a couple more tablespoons of water there it should be wet like that and now let it rise for about an hour and a half there like that and it should form gluten strands see those are gluten strands and now divide the dough equally about eight you will get eight of them and you let the dough balls sit for about 10 minutes before you start rolling them out like you're saying and for this much I made 100 grams of dough balls and for 100 grams each of dough balls you get 7 inch discs and they have to be about 1 eighth of an inch thick there 1 eighth of an inch thick about 1 fourth centimeter and now let's cook it on a skillet on medium heat you cook the first side for about 30 seconds and then once you have bubbles like that coming up now flip on the second side and cook on the second side for three minutes pressing the pita like you are seeing this is an important step to make sure that the pitas puff up so keep pressing it down three minutes on the second side and now flip back and cook for another two and a half minutes on the first side and every time you flip you have to keep pressing it down and you have to keep coaxing the pita bread to puff like you're seeing this is a fail proof way to puff your pitas and keep a cloth handy there that's almost done and transfer it to a cloth and cover it don't expose it to air because it will dry out and now let it cool for about five minutes before cutting the pita and opening the pockets up you will be able to open it up pretty quickly because they puffed up and this is so flavorful you have to try it it's so easy to make so flavorful if you follow all the three important steps I told you you will get really amazing pita bread like that but before we taste it let's remember I'm able to face all types of challenges because I know how to keep my mind clear and calm. Okay, let's taste this. See how soft and airy this is.
This is how it looks inside. It's really good. It's chewy and light and delicious. This tastes significantly better than the store-bought one. You should really try it at home. Yum, yum.